Little Cinnaboo, look what Daddy found. This tree did not produce any morels last year, but we have one this year. That's about the size of my thumb. So we got a really heavy rain yesterday. And I suspect there's probably more in the woods, but we'll probably look, as of the recording of this, it's Thursday, Saturday, we're gonna look. And I think if we have a decent number of morels, we'll collect them from a neighbor who was the one who tipped me off on some of the morels in my property. So we'll go ahead and return the favor and give them some morels. If we have it, I don't wanna give them just one or two, that would be kind of weird. Hopefully we'll find at least four or five and we can give them to him. I think he'd be appreciative of that, huh, little boo? Unfortunately, this is a an elm tree, and while that in and of itself is perfectly fine, as you can see, it has succumbed to emerald ash borer, some sort of an invasive nasty bug that destroyed this tree. But as a result, it has resulted in mushrooms. So, yeah. So we'll have to search here more thoroughly later. Yeah. But that's pretty exciting. We're still in morel season, my friend. There's a few other spots around the yard I wanna check, but Saturday I'll have a lot more time to search and then we'll see if we can collect a nice bag for our neighbor. Oh, huh? wouldn't that be nice? Cause we had a lot of morels this year. The year before we only had two and he said he hasn't found any yet. Do you see any more mushrooms, my friend? No, we haven't found any back here. Not in this particular area. What is that? That doesn't look like an owl pellet. That must have come, from, looks like a hairball from not from you, boo. That's like from a bobcat or something. Actually, I have no idea. But that's pretty interesting. Yeah, if we can find that, we can probably find more morels later, huh, my friend? Yes. Well, oh, yep. Daddy's having a nice post-work beer. It's a Sheboygan blood orange. Blood orange honey. It's pretty good. This little camper there. Oh, little boo. We're approaching one of your favorite trees. Maybe you can climb it and then get a good vantage point and see if there's any mushrooms that Daddy missed. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look a little boy, we even got a nice sunset over there, huh? Isn't that pleasant? Ah, what a good babe, is that a tick on your eye, little boy? Oh my goodness, is that? Come here, go this way. Oh, it is, I'll take care of that, my friend, okay? You need it to worry, your daddy's got your back, I'll take that tick out. Oh, that looks nasty. Hey, little boom, we'll use this as a, nope, I'm gonna use that something. I'll set my drift down, okay? And then I'm gonna have to take the camera away in order to get it. Look at that monster right there. Very dangerous creature, little boo. Yeah, it's trying to snack on daddy, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away pretty soon. We don't need it. I can barely feel it too. All right, we took care of that little mess, my friend. It will not be hurting anybody anytime soon, that's for sure, at least not in that life. Well, he just loves his wood pile, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, what a good baby you are. I'll set my drink down. Oh. Gotta check you more thoroughly for more ticks, my friend. Yes. No more mushrooms, at least not yet. But I don't expect to find any out here. We'll have to look tomorrow, possibly, or at the latest Saturday. What a good baby you are. Little boo, it looks like the heavens are shining upon thee. <laughs> oh, what a good baby you are. Yes. Oh, look at the baby. What are you doing, little boo? Look at your tail. Look how fluffy your tail is. Oh my goodness. We haven't found any more mushrooms yet, have we? Well, that's okay. We got some little asparagus growing in the garden and scallions. And the little baby gonna come over to check. Oh, gonna try to sneak a sip out of the beer? Okay. We looked at the mushroom, the morel, that was at that tree that we looked at the other day. And it's about the same size. I'm gonna have to pick it tomorrow at the latest because it's starting to get a little eh. But it's supposed to rain tonight. And tomorrow, scattered, so we'll see if the water makes it bigger. But there's a few other spots I wanna check back here. We may only just have one mushroom. In that case, I'll just fry it up myself. It's really not worth picking just one, maybe two mushrooms, giving it to a neighbor. So, yeah, we'll see a little boo. Thanks for helping, Daddy, though. That is what I believe is called a pheasant back, which is edible. I'm not an expert on those particular mushrooms. I've never cooked one up myself, so I'm a little cautious. We also have a strange mound. I don't know why that's there. I'm sure it's man-made, but as far as how old, I don't know. I don't know if it's ancient or if it's more of an indigenous kind of a thing or if it's something Cinnamon did. Little boo, is that something you put over there? Is that something you did? 
at this. I do like this corner. Isn't it nice, little boo? You stick to the edge now so you can hop into the woods if need be, okay? Yeah. What a good baby you are. Maybe we'll find some artifacts, too, while we're at it. That would be cool. We're always looking, but we don't seem to find any. The real artifacts are the friends you make along the way. What you looking at, my friend? Very peaceful place, isn't it? You see a bird over there, don't you, my friend? Well, don't stray too far. Daddy's going to check his couple mushroom spots, okay? And then we'll have to come back. It's a big tree, isn't it, my friend? It's probably one of the biggest trees around here. Yeah. No mushrooms yet, but we're still looking. We haven't found any back here, my friend. But I appreciate the company. About ready to call it. What do you say, little boo? What do you say we head back inside? It's gonna store pretty soon. Yeah. It's not even May yet, so we're not even in the, the main season for Michigan, huh, my friend? We still got plenty of time, huh? Yes, but we have the one, so maybe I'll pick it tomorrow, probably. After the rain, just have it myself, I suppose. Oh, careful, little boo. Don't wanna to go too high now. You certainly like them birds, don't you, my friend? Wish I could say the same about them to you. <laughs> it's okay, my little boy. Yes, it is. I think he's ready to go inside, too. He's doing a pretty good job keeping up with Daddy. Oh, careful, my friend. That's a toughy spot. Yeah. You're definitely better equipped than Daddy to get through it, though. That's for sure. Lots of pricker bushes, which will soon become black raspberry bushes, which they are. But they don't have fruit just yet. Not even little green ones. Hello, little prince. We didn't find anything, but we still had a good time, didn't we? Yes, we did. Oh, what a baby. All kinds of weird little bugs, huh? Yeah. That's okay, my friend. Oh, look at how little he looks from here. He's keeping up quite well, aren't you, my friend? Yeah, I keep on saying that because you are. You've been a good baby. It's taken by daddy. A couple years back, we got two to four really big morels over here. What you got, a little hitchhiker, a little boo, you got something on your, what is that? What is that on your hill? Oh, I think part of the reason he's following me way, way better than normal. He follows me pretty good, but today seems to be even better. I think because he knows it's gonna get nasty out. And he knows daddy gotta let him inside the house, huh, little boo? Uh oh, you're going the wrong way, little boo. We gotta go down the hill towards the house. Looks like I have a little hitchhiker, huh, little boo? Yeah, not for long though. Are you gonna jump off, daddy? Yeah. All right. You ready to go back in, little boo? It's probably gonna rain soon as i've said you could just tell by the look and the smell of things huh yep time to go inside little boo little baby how you doing today you stay right there daddy gonna get some shoes on i'll go out and join you okay it's a nice day to chill on the deck it's supposed to storm but we'll see about that Daddy's got to do a lot of house cleaning work today yeah so i'll be right out though we can hang out outside for a little bit he got a good brushing earlier today Brushed them for probably 15 minutes. Get some of that loose fur off the baby. We got a nasty tick on the loose little boo. Yes, we do. Have to avoid those, okay? Nasty. Yeah, this time of year they get pretty bad, don't they, my friend? They're tough little crackers, too. I tried squishing it like three or four times, and then no break. It's like a heart attack. The Civil War heart attack, huh, little boo? Yeah. Too bad we don't have a possum over here. I'd give it to them. A little snack for the little possum. You like it over there in the shade, little boo? Here comes a little baby lion. Let me check on that mushroom, little boo. I'm gonna probably pick it. We looked all over yesterday, as you saw. We didn't find another one, so I guess we'll just have this, just this one for a little snack. And we're not even in May yet, as of the recording of this video, so I'm sure we'll find some more in the future. He looks kind of tired. Good thing we don't have too long of a trek to the mushroom little boo. It's supposed to storm later, huh, my friend? Yeah. That wind feels nice in a humid day like today. There it is, little boo. Uh-huh. Mm, I'm on the fence about picking that. I think it's worth it. Oh, huh, little boo? There's probably a bunch more that we haven't found. That'll help propagate the next year. Yeah. 
or the next season rather. Ready? We'll go ahead and get it. We'll twist it, give it a good twisting. There we go. Yeah, that's actually, you know, I don't know. That should be fine though. Oh, there's some hair on there. That's why you gotta wash it thoroughly, huh? Yes, yeah, there's probably a little bug in there, little boo. Yes, bugs like to make houses in my house, don't they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, in the news recently, there was a, a few people who passed away from eating these, but they ate them raw. There was a restaurant in Montana, I believe, that served these in a sushi roll raw. Some of them were lightly cooked, others were raw. And you never, ever do that. At least with these kind of mushrooms. You want to cook them good. It's very sad. That's probably a terrible way to go, too. I think they suffered for weeks before they passed away. And a lot of times, people will pass away from eating the wrong kind of mushrooms, too. And there are some that you're not supposed to eat. That Some people claim if you cook them enough, they're okay. But I don't mess with those. Nor have I ever found them anyway with false morels. So... This is a legit morel. I believe it's a, a yellow. Sometimes I get gray ones. Yeah, there's some, definitely some hair in there. So I guess I'll... Oh, there's lots of sand in this one. I don't know. I'm really on the fence about eating this one. It's not that it's gone bad. It's just really dirty. Look at all the sand grains. Yeah, I think just because of where it's at. I don't know, little boy. I might return this one to the earth. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's just packed full of sand. I don't know a little bit. What do you think? What do you think? All right, all right. I'll cook it up. I never get past how he just follows me around out here. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yes, you're a good boy, aren't you? You follow me around better than most dogs would. Yeah. He's like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> hey, whoa. Back where you came from, little boo. Yeah. At least this morning. Found a couple little asparagus, huh? So maybe I have some asparagus with the morale. That'll be a very nice bite and a half. There we go. Got them cleaned up, cut it into thirds, and go ahead and let them soak in the salt water. And I've got a two little asparagus friends, too. What's the baby looking for? Hmm? Is he looking for a treat or two? Is that what you're looking for? Okay, I'll get you one or two. All right, little boo, here we go. Here's the first treat for the baby. Whoa, what a good baby. Here's the next one. Oh, that's it for now, little boo. Yeah. You gonna take a nap now? You've been outside almost all day. You're probably tired now. Daddy's got laundry to do, little boo. Yeah, and some dusting. Can you help me with that using your tail? But that might get more hair everywhere. And there we have it cooked just right and we have the little asparagus bonus i suppose it's a handful of bites but hey better than nothing all right here we go i'm gonna go ahead and start with a morel or part of one morel we had <laughs> or found here we go oh yeah gritty as i expected mm. so so good it was a good call to eat that let's try the asparagus i didn't really use a lot of spices on the asparagus or i should say salt rather Mmm, so good though. Holy cow. What a great combination. Why don't we try a piece of asparagus with the morel? All right, here we go. Mmm. What a marvelous combination. We'll try the last piece of morel we have. I sure hope we find more in the next week or two. Definitely gritty. Mm-hmm. But definitely one of the best ones I've cooked this year. We just got the little asparagus left. Here we go. Mmm. Phenomenal. It was a great idea cooking them together, too. I mean, definitely had room in the pan. <laughs> Super hot outside, very humid. Glad I'm taking most of the day to do some indoor chores. Anywho, thank you all for watching. I know this is a longer video, so I appreciate you for sticking around, especially if you've made it this far. We hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever day it is when you're watching this, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, and take care.